Hi, welcome to my first YouTube video. We're going to do a quick little office tour. And as you can see, it's a pretty small space. So we're going to be trying to fit everything in camera. We'll start with my workbench. I work from home, so I share this space with my workplace. And then I make custom action figures, so I try to keep tools and even a couple of projects right on the workbench ready to go. And then above the workbench, you can see the vintage wall. These are mostly Kenner figures I've had since the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, I collected as a kid and just never let them go. There are some Stan Solo, uh, Repro, and some modern Hasbro Retro on the bottom shelf, but mostly this is a vintage Kenner collection. All right, moving left... This shelf is where I keep my art of books. There's some crafting supplies, the laser printer, some printing supplies. And then on top, I sort of just dump stuff uh, occasionally. Eventually, maybe the new Book of Boba Fett Palace will end up there. I'm not really sure yet. Moving left again is the newest addition to the office, this docking bay. Uh, the idea is really, there's no place for the ghost, and the ghost is definitely going to be the next HasLab. So I started thinking about how to do large vehicles in this small space. On the top, you can see Slave 1, but there's definitely space up there if I wanted to park an X-Wing. Right below it is the Falcon. The pink foam in the background is just a placeholder, sort of testing out the space, uh, looking at, you know, gauging how the height is going to work for maybe a balcony or something. Eventually, it will have balconies and pipes and windows and doors and all kinds of stuff on all the levels, probably some kind of command and control tower at the top, maybe a... Uh, some kind of docking, unloading, warehouse door, uh, different additional lighting, scene-specific lighting. The bottom level is where the ghost is likely to go, because I think it'll be the biggest vehicle. But right now, it's just a um, placeholder, keeping some tools down there, the hot wire cutter, a little chopper down there. Pretty excited the ghost is coming. All right, moving left again is the closet. I'm just going to open these closet doors real quick. All right, I've packed a lot of stuff in this closet, so I had to buy a label maker or I'd never find anything. It's sorted um, based on whatever, uh, mostly themes, but also like bins of parts or bins of weapons or there's some lighting bins. There's some Dio sort of random accessories, frequent use figures. Uh, even up at the top, there's some figures I haven't opened yet that'll be turned into customs eventually. All right, and then lastly, the big item is Outpost 423. On top, you can see the barge is parked. Eventually, I want to put some walls behind it too, like some foam walls. And then... The Dio itself, we'll just we'll just do a walkthrough. The top level has a band area. Lots of people hanging out. Job is probably gonna get replaced by a different hut eventually, especially if I move him to the other shelf. There's a bar down at this end. That's been highly modified. The, sh the sign above it says Outpost 423. Going down a level is the casino area. You can see lots of doors and the casino tables themselves are 3D prints that I've hand painted. Lots of people hanging out in here. The bar tables here are sh plastic shot glass cups from Walmart. I just painted them up. This new bar is from Red Flare. It's eventually going to have LED lighting that shines up from the bottom. The Rodians are really just getting started on that project. Going one more level down, I have a couple of placeholders here, but it's mostly empty. There's a lot of work that needs to happen on this level. Going down a level again is the original docking area. 
Again, doors and details and 3D printed whatever, greebles, a couple of ships in there, lots of custom figures. In the middle, there's this sort of ramen shop. These guys are getting some food. And then the n next room over is sort of a warehouse space. Looks like these guys might be doing an inventory. And then the bottom level, I have these bins that I use mostly for greebles, for parts I haven't used yet. There's a lot of doors that still need to be mounted. There's a bunch of bar parts here that I need to work on. There's some signs and paint, some painted things, more 3D prints, and some more supplies. All right. So I hope you liked the office tour. Hope my spinning didn't make you dizzy. Hope you'll come follow me. I'm Utah Dawn at Instagram, and I'm Utah Dawn on Facebook. Hope you have a nice day.